75 years of independent Pakistan polity have been tumultuous and turbulent. Oscillating between military rule and civilian governments, the country, till date, has failed to witness even one complete five-year tenure by any one of its prime ministers. Far from the lofty ideals based on which the Pakistan state was founded, the constant tug of war between the army and self-serving politicians has pushed the Islamic Republic towards a bleak future. The last few years in Pakistan's timeline have been unstable, with constant toppling and reinstating of governments, which have led to serious economic uncertainty and investor anxiety. With depleting foreign currency reserves and rising inflation, the Islamic Republic is now on the brink of economic collapse. Inflation in Pakistan rose to 21.3% in June this year, the highest since December of 2008, when inflation stood at 23.3%. Fuel prices have skyrocketed, and people are paying as much as 248 Pakistani rupees for one liter of petrol, and 263 Pakistani rupees for a liter of diesel. It's a lot of बेरोजगारी होती चली जाएगी लोग मर रहे हैं लोग खुद कुछ ही कर रहे हैं तो थोड़ा सा हमारे इकमरानों को सोचना चाहिए कि डॉलर पे कंट्रोल करें According to the United Nations Development Program Pakistan is facing a debt in excess of 250 billion USD This massive debt is the outcome of many compounding factors including the decline of the Pakistani rupee and investments of millions of USD for the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC. Further, the low ranking by international rating agencies, coupled with the grey listing of Pakistan by the Financial Action Task Force, has kept foreign investors away from the country. The crisis is a direct consequence of the absence of any stable government in Pakistan and constant interventions of the unaccountable Pakistani army into matters of civilian life. The army's interference in the country's non-military affairs ultimately led to societal instability and the severe economic slowdown the country is currently facing. Additionally, repeated and continuous government mismanagement and corruption have further added to the country's crisis. Because of political instability and because of this war between the military and the political establishment, that is the root cause as to why there is so much of misgovernance and policy paralysis in Pakistan. Pakistan currently is not even able to secure a bailout package from the International Monetary Fund. The IMF's conditions, which include measures like removal of subsidies by the Pakistani state, are proving too costly for Islamabad, and it is looking for other options. However, those options for a bailout are fast dwindling. Pakistan's foreign exchange reserves have depleted to a critical level, and the country has few weeks of import cover remaining to bring essential commodities into the country for its smooth functioning. Pakistan, day by day, appears to be ever closely following Sri Lanka's path into political and economic collapse.